Multiple sclerosis is a life-altering disease. It is the most common neurological disease affecting young adults in Canada. And today is MS Liberation Day. Rallies for more research and funding were held here and across the country and around the world. The hope is to find a cure, and thanks to one European doctor's study, people with MS see a possible end to their suffering. But the procedure is not offered in Canada, and patients with MS want that changed. I need change. This affects every single part of my life. That's just one of many stories today shared at a multiple sclerosis liberation rally at the legislature. Many of us do not have time to wait. MS sufferers are asking the federal and provincial governments to fast forward a treatment offered in other parts of the world. The procedure they're asking for is called liberation treatment. It widens veins by using a type of angioplasty, allowing blood to flow freely from the brain to the heart. Doctors say blood leaving the brain is slowed or blocked on its way to the heart in sufferers. The trapped blood is forced back into the brain, leaving iron deposits and inflammation. Doctors believe this may be one of the causes of MS. Liberation treatment was propelled into the spotlight in November when Italian doctor Pablo Zamboni presented findings of his study, virtually eliminating symptoms in some sufferers. I had uh, sensation difficulties in my hands, I had balance dis difficulties, walking difficulties. Any, any movement I do, whether... It be Susan Burrell was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1992. Since then, her life has changed dramatically. To go shopping by myself is whether it be for clothes or uh, a major food shop or anything like that. You just can't do it on your own anymore. Susan is hopeful the government will get the ball rolling now so she doesn't have to wait for clinical trials to be completed. That could take two years. Uh, when you meet with patients who are going to be much worse off six, nine, twelve months from now than they are now, there's an urgency to this. Health Minister Kevin Falcon says more research needs to be done before liberation treatment will be offered in B.C. We are uh, monitoring the evidence very, very carefully, and uh, certainly if a decision is made, it will be a decision that is in the best interest of those patients. The MS Society also thinks more research is needed. This is still a fairly new technique, and that's why uh, we need to have the science and the research done in Canada. But many sufferers say they waited long enough, and if the government stalls, they'll look elsewhere. And absolutely, we are willing to, to go and be treated for it. I choose life. I live. Anything I live. to ease their pain from a debilitating disease. In Victoria, Louise Hartland, A News. By the way, if you were wondering why Health Minister Kevin Falcon had a baby in his arms, he was introducing his new daughter, Josephine, to his colleagues at the legislature.